In the symphony of human history, there is a tale that resonates with both heartache and empowerment, the saga of the lost library of Alexandria. This repository of wisdom, a grand embodiment of human enlightenment, once radiated like a beacon across ancient lands. Yet, within the shadow of its towering shelves lies an untold narrative, one of Africa's obscured history, the fracturing of identity and the insidious pilfering of its profound wisdom. The Library of Alexandria, that hallowed sanctuary of knowledge, was not merely a structure of bricks and scrolls. It represented the audacity of human curiosity, a fortress of wisdom holding within its bosom an unrivaled treasure trove of scrolls, manuscripts, and texts that wove together the essence of diverse cultures and civilizations. But alas, time's relentless march and the forces of destruction have left its chambers in ruin, its pages scattered to the winds of obscurity. Amid this profound loss, we must cast our gaze upon another heartrending truth, the tragic erasure of Africa's own historical legacy. Much like the way a vital core shapes the essence of a continent, the Library of Alexandria was a beacon of influence within its realm. Situated on the edge of the Mediterranean, this region was a nexus of cultural, intellectual, and political dynamics, similar to how a central nation can define a continent. The Mali Empire, bordering this significant region to the south, mirrored the role of the library in its own context. Just as the library attracted scholars and knowledge seekers, the Mali Empire, particularly in the city of Timbuktu, became a center of intellectual activity. The Mali Empire's scholarly endeavors and cultural richness echoed the library's impact, fostering an environment of vibrant exchange. Yet, the orchestrated vanishing act that swept Africa's history from the forefront has severed a vital connection leading to the unraveling of ancestral roots, the fading of self-awareness, and the perpetuation of debilitating stereotypes. The obliteration of Africa's narrative, its replacement by distorted versions, is not a happenstance. It's a calculated endeavor to strip an entire continent of its voice, a narrative engineered to undermine the collective spirit and potential of Africa and its people. The pivotal contributions of Africa, be it in the realm of mathematics, astronomy, medicine, or philosophy, have been unjustly overshadowed or attributed elsewhere. This distortion has sowed seeds of doubt in African pride, allowing the propagation of a narrative that obscures Africa's true brilliance. The Library of Alexandria acted as a pivotal cornerstone much like the nation of France, shaping the fortunes of its neighboring empires. Just as the core nation's contributions ripple across its region, the library's role as a hub of learning and exchange influenced the development of knowledge, trade, and diplomacy in the ancient world. The call to action reverberates through time. It's a summon to reclaim our past, to rekindle our essence, the wisdom and to resurrect that once our heritage flowed through Africa's veins, has shaped civilizations beyond its boundaries, bridging continents and eras. It's imperative to break free from the shackles of manipulated narratives, to rewrite the script that attempts to suppress African wisdom for personal gain. As we journey further to the south, our path lead us to the ancient kingdom of Nubia a realm of profound historical significance. This land, much like a central nation in the geopolitical tapestry, held a strategic position that bridged different worlds together. Nubia's location not only facilitated the flow of trade and diplomatic connections, but it also resembled the role of a key nation in linking distant regions. In the same way that the Library of Alexandria's influence extended far beyond its grand walls, Nubia's interactions with various empires resonated throughout the Mediterranean and the vast African interior. 
However, fate took an unfortunate turn, intertwining the destinies of the library and Nubia's legacy. With the loss of the Library of Alexandria, countless scrolls of knowledge were devoured by flames, including the records that held the intricate chronicles of Nubia's past. As the library's priceless wisdom turned to ashes, so too did the tangible threads connecting us to Nubia's rich history. Like the vanished scrolls, Nubia's story became a lost chapter, forever entwined with the library's tragic demise. This rallying cry is for all Africans, a clarion call to rekindle our heritage and unite across borders. The rekindling of Africa's past is an audacious act, igniting the present and heralding a future where the shackles of misinformation are shattered. We are entrusted with celebrating the triumphs of our forebears, reigniting the flames of curiosity, and amplifying the echoes of our enduring contributions throughout the tapestry of history. Africa, often acclaimed as the cradle of civilization, carries the echoes of ancient footsteps that have faded with time. Through epochs, the continent's history flowed harmoniously with the currents of global knowledge. From the brilliant ingenuity of Egypt's pharaohs to the incandescent mathematics of Timbuktu's scholars, Africa's intellectual prowess knew no bounds. Together, we shall summon the spirit of the lost library of Alexandria, a luminary of African wisdom. We shall rewrite the narrative that has been stolen, rekindle the fires of knowledge, and boldly reclaim Africa's rightful place as a fount of human advancement. The time has arrived for Africans to rise, to rediscover our intrinsic essence, and to take our rightful place in the grand mosaic of global heritage. Unified, we shall journey forward, breaking the chains of history, propelled by the conflagration of knowledge and resolute in the reclamation of our legacy. The Lost Library of Alexandria isn't just a relic. It's a resounding call to reshape the future, a future where Africa's history is revered, its heritage adored, and its monumental contributions acknowledged by all. In the words of our fathers, like the shifting sands, knowledge systems adapt, yet the essence of who we are remains rooted. Amun-Ra, 